another session. My name is Ashpreet and today we're going to talk about the first chapter of geography for class 10th that is resources and development. If you guys have watched my previous video in which we talked about the difference between development and growth, I guess now it's pretty clear up here in your mind that there lies a difference not a minor difference but a major difference when we talk about growth and development if you guys have not watched that video please make sure you go and watch that video and today before we dig into this chapter i really want to talk about resources like what is the meaning of resources see a uh, resource is a cultural concept uh, a resource is a part of earth that people we need uh, and we also need to value it. It's not just where we just need it, but it's very important that we value the same because we've been exploiting the resources to the next level. So even though we need it, it's important that we value the same. The natural materials that become the resources only when, um, not only only when, but most of the time when human value them. And they are, you know, acceptable to the society as a whole that's given in your book. So the uses and the values of these resources, they are different from culture to culture. They vary in their quality and quantity. Uh, they have uneven distribution also. They, uh, they vary from time to time also. So some resources, they are finite. That means we have limited uh, quality of them available, while the others can be replenished at varying states like at the very beginning uh, after some time depending on how easily you can replenish them however it's again i want to stress humans need to balance the short-term rates with the long-term availability to ensure that there is a sustainable future guys when i say uh, you know when it's something is serving your need at this time there's a short-term use like I just said, but you need to ensure that you fix that short term use with a long term availability that that resource stays with you for long. So we're going to talk much about this and let's start on this topic discussion of the chapter discussion that's resources and development. Like you guys told me that, ma'am, uh, the characteristics of resources can be renewable. They can be non renewable. So we, we've pretty much talked about what a resource actually can be, how you can put it to use. Uh, you know, it, it can also be, uh, for example, divided into various categories. It can be identified in different types of energy resources. It can be identified in the different types of the way you use it. It can be defined uh, on, the, on their distribution also. Uh, you can talk about the ownership also, the origin also, and much more to talk about when we, uh, when, when we talk about this concept concept of resources but we as human beings need to understand that it's it's high time that we use the resources the right way now if i say i have something available in nature does that mean that that resource is good for human consumption or is going to fit the human consumption is going to serve the humanity i think we really need to look into it like look deep into it so a resource imagine there is a resource available right here uh, let's have this map of india a little bit gujarat region coastline then you have northeastern states and you go up till jammu and here you go oh not bad i thought i'll be terrible at this but anyway imagine there's a resource lying here a lot of resources you guys know we get it from this area that's the plateau region the resource rich belt and this is chota nagpur plateau i'll give you a very good example now any resource that is available the very first thing it needs to satisfy is that it is used to it must satisfy that it, it must be culturally acceptable like our society must be able to accept that okay we are exploiting this particular resource and we'll be in a position to use it Imagine, you know, if I talk about culturally acceptable, culturally acceptable, do you think in the, you know, upcoming generations, because of the level of greenhouse gases we are producing, do you think uh, coal and petroleum would probably be culturally acceptable? I really doubt. What do you guys think? 
do you think they'll be accepting because anyway i can probably uh, make a comment at this very stage that people would have to wear their oxygen masks and at that time they won't dare to use coal petroleum and all those resources which create a lot of pollution they probably have to jump onto something like electrical electric vehicles second thing is guys it should be economically feasible you know imagine i am extracting a resource from this place extracting means i am bring it bringing it to use and i am digging a pit but when i am digging a pit there are so many layers of impermeable rocks there are hard rocks and i need a lot of machines i need a lot of heavy machinery to probably dig it to the level that i can exploit a particular resource now imagine i'm getting this level of resource and i'm putting this level of uh, labor and uh, what do you call it technology and investing a lot of time do you think this and this have a match i don't think so when you are exploiting a resource or getting a resource it's very important that it needs to be economically feasible you are putting this much of effort this much of capital or money to just get this much amount of resource all the more you are creating pollution also uh, degrading the land also now if you extract if any company extracts this this much of the resource do you think it's going to charge the same i think it's going to charge much more right this level like double the amount so it won't be economically feasible guys it's of no use you're getting a resource but it unless and until it's not economically feasible it's of no use third it must be technologically accessible that means it's accessible means it should be in reach for example i just talked about a resource and i told you there are many impermeable rocks or there are rough rocks and you need to put them apart pull them apart to get the resource that's right here so i guess you probably need to have a lot of technology second important thing the quantity of resource should be enough that you are putting this much of economic uh, uh, you know it should be economically viable and third it should be culturally acceptable that okay whatever resource you are giving out uh, it will be used by the society and it's not creating you know pollution to that level that we won't accept it i hope these three things are clear so whenever somebody asks you what is a resource please keep this explanation in your mind that first important thing is it should be culturally acceptable imagine me uh, and me telling you that you know in the upcoming generation we'll probably find um, uh, some chambers who going to supply you oxygen you're going to stop by uh, whenever you're passing that area then you're going to inhale the oxygen because anyway you will be having these oxygen masks the condition is like getting terrible not any better second it must be economically feasible that means the amount you put in you need to get the same or a bit less amount of resource but it, there should not be a lot of gap marginal gaps make sense third it should be technologically uh, technically accessible i'll give you another example of technology uh, technically uh, accessible for example india right here in indian ocean somewhere very far from the coastline is extracting nodules now what is a nodule like this like some imagine something like in the shape of a ball so like a ball is there so these are polymetallic nodules that means a lot of metals are there now if you are going deep into the water body even though you are extracting it sometimes called manganese nodules or polymetallic nodules and you are going deep into the water you don't have india or maybe a lot of countries might not be having technology to exploit that resource it might be very costly also so it's very important for you to get a resource that you need to be technologically equipped i hope this is clear to all of you now moving on we as human beings we tend to serve our needs by creating institutions how do we create institutions so that we can uh, you know move the move to the next letter uh, or jump to the next uh, you know level of economic development is by making use or putting to use this physical environment or the nature so we use technology you uh, we use technology for uh, from uh, to exploit the physical environment and 
we also create institutions so that we can accelerate our economic development i hope this is clear to all of you now see guys i am going to be very frank we're going to talk about different types of resources but i know you guys are pretty smart when i talk about uh, are these resources really free gifts of nature like whatever i think it's like i assume that i need this much of petroleum do you think i can go and exploit mumbai from it from mumbai high is it gifted to my to me by my forefather or maybe my dad did i inherit it did i is it on my name that i can exp, you know exploit the way i want no we have not inherited the resources we've just borrowed it and we need to pass it on to the future generation so we need to be very careful when you use the resources and for that i also would like to say guys whenever you leave the room please ensure that you turn off the uh, you try to save the energy turn off the lights if they are not in use this way it will become a convention that okay we are moving towards this conservation process thank you so much getting back to the topic see resources are function of human activities even we like you guys or me we also are a resource but to whom to the country because a resource its mere existence won't be of any use unless and until we use this our mind our technology the skill the entrepreneurship everything is put to use to you know get meaning out of that resource to put that resource into use and then get to the level of economic development we are going but while we do that it's important that we ensure that there is no negative impact on the environment it's not just we we need to take care of our future generation anyway now on that note let's proceed to the different categories or types of resources that we have the very first type of resources let's divide it on the basis of origin so what do you think origin is either it's uh, like you have the cells in science prokaryotic eukaryotic similarly based on origin you might have studied there it can be a biotic resource and it can be a biotic resource pretty easy so guys can i say biotic is obtained from the biosphere it is living for example let's have human beings let's have flora guys flora is fl so flowers is also fl so just remember when i talk about plants it's going to be flora and it can be fauna that means animals then you can talk about fisheries and stuff like that if i talk about abiotic resources are all the resources that are associated with non living things for example let's talk about rocks let's talk about metals they are all abiotic similarly we'll talk about the resources based on their exhaustibility like based on exhaustibility again it can be renewable that means a resource which can be renewed which can be uh, reproduced by either by physical either by chemical or maybe any mechanical process you can probably replenish them so replenish or use them are all examples of renewable give me an example guys i don't know the example can you please help me okay let's talk about wind energy let's talk about solar energy let's talk about forests let's talk about wildlife all these are examples of renewable resources but just to bring to your notice these resources can be divided into two categories one is continuous and the second one can be it, it like these renewable resources they can be divided into two categories not wildlife and the other one can be flow but i am going to explain this difference between continuous and flow in the next video so and the second type of category is going to be non renewable 
resources so what can be known all those uh, which which uh, probably occur over a brief period of geological time or maybe uh, you know over the years so uh, for example you can talk about the minerals you can talk about the fossil fuels so they take millions and millions of years for their formation uh, they cannot be recycled that easily they they get exhausted once you use them so all those are the categories of non renewable resources so i'm going to talk about continuous and flow in the next video so let's revise whatever we've covered first we talked about resources that in order to you know serve your short term goals don't compromise on the life of the future generation adopt a sustainable concept approach second i told you that okay a resource for a resource to be uh you know defined anything to be defined or termed as a resource it's important that it needs to be technologically or technically accessible it should be economically feasible and culturally acceptable then only you can define anything as a resource then i told you that human beings they walk up the ladder if they make use of the physical environment using the technology and then they work in those institutions or whatever development takes place and that is how they help the country grow and prosper second is human beings are very very important resource in themselves because without them you cannot bring to use any other resource third thing that we covered in this lecture is two types of resources number one is based on origin for example the biotic and abiotic human beings flora fauna fisheries are examples of biotic resources whereas abiotic you guys told me rocks and minerals then we talked about another type of resource base oh b a s i s yeah a lot of you might have got it okay it's a human error i anyway know the spelling it's b a s i s don't judge me on it okay guys so basis of exhaustibility is going to be renewable or you can replenish them for example wind solar forest wildlife renewable can further be divided into continuous and flow which i'm going to talk in the next video and talking about non renewable are the forests So I'm going to see you in the next video till we meet next please take care stay healthy and please respect your parents thank you guys you've been wonderful bye bye take care